How's it going, everybody? Uh, welcome back to Third Person Comic Review. Today I'm joined again by Chris. What's up? And we're going over issue number 162 of The Walking Dead, The Whisperer War, part six of six. Six of six, yes. Yeah, a great end to this arc, and I'm wanting to know what goes into the next arc. Uh, what about you? Um, okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and I'm going to tell you, um, I didn't really... I was expecting more from this. I didn't expect it to end where it did. I I, 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 I thought they were going to... I don't consider this an end to the arc. I really don't. It's, it's not really, no. You know what I mean? I consider it a prelude. Like, it should have been a part seven then. Like, well, this I should be six gonna, or seven, you know? Because we're done with the Whisper of War now, so... How are we done with the Whisper of War when, when it really hasn't even... It's going to be a Walker War now. Oh, I guess, because they... All right, you know, let's get into it, and we'll go over it. Okay, so, so... All right, all right. so go ahead. So, you, you want to you... recap this one? What happened? You want to recap this one? Nope, it's all you. I'm just going to I'm just gonna do the little scrolly scrolls. All right, so we start off, we get Negan, we get a little bit of his backstory. He has his uh, Bat Lucille, who, thanks to a commenter in our section, Danae Washington, she let us in on a backstory comic of his that we'll get into later. But Lucille was his wife, and he never got to bury her, but now he does. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, just commenting on that backstory, like, I'm, I'm really glad that we found that when we did right before this yeah. episode, because it really, we were all sitting here going, what's this backstory? And like you said, we had a, um, a wonderful viewer be like, you know, there is a backstory that they wrote, and they show yeah. it. And we're like, oh, crap, really? So we it's immediately like, how went. How did we miss it? Yeah, so we immediately went and, and caught up on that. And like, like Jess said, we're, we're going to end up making a video on that. Uh, a little quick video for you guys so you can just you know we can go over that and talk about that and uh yeah so this was really cool especially since i had just finished catching up on that portion of the story and then came, come to this and be like oh shit yeah okay because now it makes he makes a lot more sense you know yeah um really humanizing him and i and and and, and it does i don't think it detracts from who he is it his character feels good to humanize Negan. yeah yeah and it's weird but it feels good to humanize him yeah um and, uh, okay, so we'll get into we'll get into him in, at another time. But okay, go ahead, moving forward. Next. After we get uh, Negan's story here, we get to go to uh, the kingdom, helping the hilltop. Uh, William leads the charge. They're like, "Oh no, what happened?" Maggie's like, "Yeah, we'll just go to Alexandria." Done there. We get uh, Rick and Andrea talking. She mentions Old Man Rick, which everybody's dubbed Rick Old Man Rick now. Yeah. Even the comic. Uh, we get Eugene delivering the bullets, finally. We get, um... Who else was it? Oh, Carl. Carl. Mm -hmm. Carl being like, yeah, we've all done bad things, but it all it all comes back in the end. It doesn't matter. And uh, really stepping up in his game. And we get the Walkers being led by the Whisperers. And... Oh, Jesus. But to preface that, Rick's talking with the White thousands I didn't see hundreds. I didn't see thousands. I saw hundreds of thousands. Yeah. And they're having to go back out there now. Yeah. He that's where we out. leave off. We see a massive horde, and that's where we leave off. Yeah. And, and again, that's why I was like, "Wait, what?" I'm like, "Damn it!" Yeah. As 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 it's, as it's getting further, I'm like, "This comic's gonna end soon. When is something gonna happen?" And then you know, like it's at the end, Beta's like, "No, we. Uh, this is what we." This is what and we now it now it begins or whatever, and I'm like, if oh. they don't dub the next like arc, the Walker War or something like that, I just, just to play off the Whisperer War. Yeah, I don't know. I, so like I said, I I I, I good 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 book still, good issue, but oh, yeah. I kind of was like, damn, I wanted more from it. Like after all of that, anyway, let's 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 just get into it. I guess we'll just <clears throat> we'll just briefly show. So we showed Negan. I showed Negan earlier, and then there's Negan. Um, and, um, he, he's feeling a little sorry for himself now, right? Yeah, it really, it really does humanize him, like we've said. Yeah. And the, the comic that we read, the excerpts of him, Negan it, story, it really yeah. shows the, like, guy before, you know, the loudmouth douchebag that... So he was, he was a douchebag yeah. before, <laughs> but, um, yeah. but you know what, we're gonna save all that for the, cause... Jess and I could very easily get into that now, but we're going to save all that. Let's just, we'll jump back into this comic. Um, and this shows a little bit of that as well. Yeah, because I think uh, Jesse and I are very eager to talk about Negan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so um, just going going forward in the comic, like you said, yeah, um, William, who is now the leader of the kingdom, 
who almost had a mutiny on his hands, but he took he he snuffed that out pretty quick. He squashed yeah, that. Yeah, he snuffed Zachary out pretty good. Yeah, he did that pretty quick. They they roll up on a, um, a burned a burned out hilltop, and uh, I apologize for the small double page spread here, but that's just the way my comic viewer is showing it, and I'm not going to zoom in because it's annoying. Um, they find everyone, and that and, and you know and and like Jesse said. You know, Maggie says, you know, we're going to rebuild and we'll rebuild it better. But for now, we're all going to Alexandria. Right. And yeah. now here's Carl, which was probably the second most favorite thing in this issue for me. Um, he, he definitely really stepped into his own. He's been doing that ever since like issue, I want to say 110. Mm -hmm. But he, he really stepped up here and he's showing that he's matured and he understands a lot of stuff that's going on in the world. I like how he explain how she says, "Yo, you wouldn't like me if you knew all the shit I did." And he's like, "Listen, you don't know what we've done to get here. You don't yeah, know what really. I've done to get here." I mean, Christ, he has a hole in his face. You know what I mean? Like, how can she think he hasn't been through shit that, that just she gets me, dude? You know, I know, she, I know she's been mistreated physically and and raped and you know and, and very horrific things, but she wasn't shot in the fucking face. You know what I mean? <laughs> And she says, we've done stuff like this before, and I've been on the other side of it and never thought about it. And it's like, yeah. you don't think about it until you're on the side of it. Yeah, I like that. I, li I like that that she said that, that she was like, yeah. I never realized it was that way, you know. And so he says, listen, we're going to be fine. We're going to be absolutely fine, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, and then moving on with Beta, this was, you know... He, he just, really is a Beta male now. <laughs> yeah, he just, you know... I mean, well, this was a quick shot, right? Yeah, yeah. So it was just a quick shot. Yeah. Moving forward to the old man, Rick. Um, he says he's 38. He's like, I'm only 38. Yeah. Which is astounding because in the, uh, the show, he's like mid-40s, I think they say. I think he's mid-40s. Hell, I'm I'm 37. So like, like for me thinking about that, like I'll be 38 this summer and I'm like, Jesus Christ, like... <laughs> You know, I mean, I've been through a bunch yeah. of shit in my life, but nothing like that. Like, you know, obviously. No, you, you, you still have both hands. Um, still have both hands. I have use of both of my legs without a cane. Yeah, man, you yeah. know. Just, well, I mean, I can't wait till they get to these parts here, like Old Man Rick, in the show. In the show. Will they do that, though? That's the thing, you know. They have to. Because, think about it. If they go with this arc here, like the whole Negan leads up to here, breaks yeah. Rick's leg and all that I, stuff. I really hope to. they do. I really hope they do. Um, yeah. So this was this was pretty. I I really some of my favorite stuff are the Rick and Andrew moments. I love yeah. it. I love them, you know. And when we talked about it in in our uh, video, our previous video uh, that we did, um, the Q and A, you know, we were we were asked what our favorite character, comic character is, and I had said um, that Michonne was, um, but I should have also m probably like mentioned Andrea. I like her in the comic. I like I like who she is in the comic. I know? think you did mention Andrea. Did I mention Andrea? Uh, I might the comic character yeah. and then Michonne for your show character. Oh, did I? I think so. No, no I thought Don't I was double. Dip. I think I double dipped. I think I double dipped Michonne. You might have double dipped in, in the comic. But Andrea is also a favorite of mine. Um, and then yeah, this is this is character. this is what you like. This is your this is your boy Eugene. Yeah. Uh, he, he really owned up to it. He showed that he's more than just the brains. He's also able to, you know, tough it out with the rest of them. Yeah. Albeit to the very end. You know. Finally gets through the gate and collapses. Yeah. And dude, tons of bullets. And this is this is actually yeah. one of my one of my favorite parts of this comic was, you know, he says it was the only way I could contribute. It's important to me. And he's like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? He's like, we you have electricity, running water. running water. He's like, and all the other things that you keep going on around. And he's like, trust me, nobody is saying where's Eugene's cut. And, and it made yeah. me feel good. That was like a nice, a really nice moment. The man who had everybody protect him and had to more or less lie his way to get to safety. Yeah. Comes up in his own and does his own to hold his part. Yeah. And we're getting that a little bit in the show now. Like he's, he's starting yeah. to get that like... I, I think he regressed a little because initially he was like, I want to learn how to fight. So he taught himself. He, he learned how to fight with the machete and he learned yeah, how to. And now he's a whiner. But... And then he went and he kind of regressed a little bit, you know, and I think we'll hopefully, you know, we'll get they him. They probably got too far ahead for you, uh, comic Eugene, honestly. Yeah. They got too close to this Eugene. Yeah. But either way, th this Eugene's great. I, I love this guy, you know. Um, 
All right, so, and then we move forward and we get, we get. This was a good panel. I Dwight's love this group. panel. Yeah, yeah, Dwight's group come back. This was great. This was great having everybody come back and very, you know, reminiscent of the, you know, mid-season finale that we just saw a few weeks ago with the Walking yep. Dead show, you know. Um, I just, you yeah. get Jesus and all of them, yeah. all the touchy-feely, and then you get Negan back there feeling like kind of sorry for himself. I have such a, I feel for him now. I don't know, now I, I feel too. for him. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, because if he turns on the group, I'm going to be mad. He, he doesn't deserve it. I'm going to tell you right now, he doesn't deserve it. But can I tell you, like, I was always like, wow, he, he may still fucking turn now. Even he though might. he did try and go back and kill them with the whip, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so I don't, but I don't know now. But then again, he I, still did so go and like. You don't know if he went back to try to kill him. He did, he, he. He oh, well, you know what? He, he didn't. He didn't. He went back. He killed Alpha, came back, and he's like, yeah. I took care of it for you. Yeah, that's, that's right. True. That's what he did, yeah. So, he's, so there, he's a good comic character. There is, yeah, and a good and, show character. And there is good stuff in him. There is, so, you know, yeah. he just he was just being who he had to be for the savior. The like, man's because, in the back. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, I like it, but here we, you know, here we're coming up on this conversation, um, you know, where Dwight's telling him. You know, like, yeah, listen, you know. Yeah, hundreds of dead at their disposal. Yeah, he's like, did you say hundreds? And, and then, you know, he said, probably almost a thousand. And he says, almost a thousand. Because I didn't see a hundred. I didn't see hundreds. I didn't see one thousand. I saw thousands of them. So yeah. I just like, uh. And then I was like, oh, it's on. It's on. And, and then this panel. And then we get this panel. And, it, of course, the viewer doesn't do it justice. Yeah. But Jesus is that a lot of walkers that I, is and there's a kid in there yeah there, there's kid walkers there's regular walkers and what i can't wait to see because all these comic panels they have to come to tv somehow some way yeah. this one right here i can't wait to hear the sound of it of the roaring like the ocean of the massive sea of walkers that's, that's just gonna be that's just insane and I, they always yeah. do that they always have like one dude looking at the camera always one, one walker you know there's well, a kid it's walker the show, hey they're walkers they're not just people you know to shovel yeah it's so crazy man so this is i mean so i mean i saw that and i was like all right i guess you know I and guess. then and then it just so then you know we're seeing them coming the to the, of alexandria yeah you know and then we come up on um he says that they go ahead our war is over the whisperer war is over yeah. All right. Reading it again. Our yep. Let the dead finish what we started. Damn, I Come guess, on. man. Yeah. Nasty, nasty Walker War. <laughs> yeah. Damn, yeah. man. I think they've already released the title, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. But it, it's going to be good, obviously. Oh, damn, man. I don't know. We haven't seen a big horde since. Um... So I guess I guess that I guess they did win the war. All right. Now I'm seeing it yeah. from. I'm seeing they did win the war. They 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 beat the Whisperers. They took care of them all. I just thought it's it was going to be... the big board we saw when the walls broke in Alexandria? When? In the comic. Wait, when what the walls say? broke. Like, when Morgan died and all that. Morgan got bit. They all went out there and slew all the walkers. That was the before... Yeah, well, that was when... That was in early on in this war. After the war started. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're asking No, me? no, 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 no. I mean, like, it's the last big, like walker horde we saw the one like back before Negan yes even. when they yeah no uh... wasn't it Cause I, I don't really count Negan's you know the sanctuary okay yeah I think it was then I think it was yeah. had to be I kind of get the like, comics and the TV wall, confused so. a little bit sometimes even though it's two different mediums I still see it all in my head you yeah. know um, like, yeah, I sometimes think it, the black and white blends over into the show. For me. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's dude. Listen, <laughs> and those of you who who are following both know it's a lot of content. It's been it is seven years for the show and more than that for the comic. And and I've started the comic late and caught up. I did about 150 issues or 100 and some odd issues. 130, I think it was. 130 or 100. And yeah, because you got to right before the whispers started. Yeah. Um, I binged on those, so it's like a lot of content. A lot of once. content, a very little bit of time. I like how when they say it is done, they can make the rest of the way without us. I like that that they 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 you know 
they did their thing. They did what they normally do. I think that's cool. Um, yeah, gives we, them a part in this. We had him unmasked on the cover of the previous issue, right? Beta. He was yeah, unmasked. I think we did, and yeah. we haven't seen his face in the comic. You know, I'm just looking at him now, and it's like that hair is part of that skull cap. Yeah, it really crazy. is. You know, so obviously, I just always just, I just picture this guy to have that hair, but he doesn't. It's part of the skull cap. Yeah, I wonder if he had. Well, I don't know why. I don't know. No, why I assumed the, it was the his hair. Are interesting. Yeah. Um. But yeah, very, very, just, just fucking. What a, what a, what a great. A very what a great short issue. feeling content with a whole lot of content. Yeah. A, yeah, comment, then, a whole lot of content. <laughs> All right, so I, I feel better. You know, it's so funny. Every time I talk with you about these things and we do this, like I feel better about the comic. It, if I had yeah. any, con you know, um, you know, ill-conceived notions or, or or negative feelings about it, but yeah. So, all right, so good. I get. It. Okay, so they did. They did win the war. I thought maybe it would have been a little more. And and you know what it is? I just assumed it would be something else with Beta because he was like, oh, we have something for them. We're but I guess this is what he obviously this is what he was talking about but at the same time yeah. that they did they were defeated and he's like now this that let them yeah. shit man what the fuck and you know hilltops down kingdom's far away yeah. um it's alexandria and the hilltop and kingdom are coming to alexandria now we know that right but then okay and then you still have the sanctuary but oh, fucking alexandria screw again the sanctuary screw the sanctuary and the saviors right now oh, fuck that yeah she's an asshole that girl Oh, yeah. but don't forget, remember, we have that, too. Oh, yeah, my God, they're we'll going to swoop the in. Part. Dude, they're going to swoop in. She's going to swoop in. I hope they get killed by a horde of walkers. I really do. Shit, but she's going to swoop in and try and take over now. Screw her. Damn. Anyway. Um, I, I want to know, what would you rank this since the time skip for the comics? Would you rank this number one or where? How do you mean? Uh, this issue? Since the time skip, this issue. Would this you rank this particular issue? No, I mean, I wouldn't... I, I don't think I would rank this... I don't think I would rank this up there. I mean, I, I enjoyed when Negan got out and made it to the made it there. I enjoyed those comics really good. Really good, what? Very much. <laughs> I enjoyed those. You know, this one, like I said, initially I didn't enjoy it. I didn't... I, I wanted more from this. But I, I don't think I'd rank this up there. I mean, there was some, there was some definitely a lot better well like especially like when when how about when she killed um what's his name the hilltops guy reginald what the hell's his name reggie um uh, richard what the fuck was his name you, you, you you're talking about gregory. Um, gregory yeah gregory when she killed gregory like that was that was a good thing you know what i'm saying i was thinking richard richard died a long time ago yeah richard no I, I could do so many names uh, but when she killed Gregory, that was a great, that was really intense, that whole series of stuff. Like, I, when Carl got out and, like, met Lydia, like, no, so, there have been a lot of really good stuff. This is in my top five, though. You like this? Top, I mean, I, yeah. I, I couldn't, I, I mean, I just named a few. Those are probably the ones that I remember the best, so those are probably in my top whatever, but, you know, I mean, but this one, um, again, I think, because initially, the, I was like, oh, this is the end of it? Okay. You know, but I, I think but this I, is the third biggest issue since issue 100 with Glenn and Negan and all of them happening. Yeah. Because uh, if, if you think about it, you got Glenn and Negan, then you got the Rick and Negan fight. And then I'd say this here is pretty big. Yeah. The reveal of a huge horde of walkers. Well, this is this is and this is by far the biggest. Yeah. Damn, man, what uh, the hell are they going to do? I'm get, kind of getting upset right now. The gravity Shit. of the situation. <laughs> It's just going to be insane. There's nothing they can do, man. There isn't. Shit. Well, well, we'll, we'll continue going on about this for ages if we let it. But yeah, I think let I us think know what you think down below. Please let us know how you how you felt about this. Um, and you know that we're getting two in February, right? Yeah, we're getting two in February. We're getting two in February, which is great because it it'll it'll whatever happens in the first issue of the next arc is gonna you know we'll get to continue it pretty quickly. So very very yeah. cool. I love it when they do double issue months because and they did double issue months there for like three months in a row last year, I think. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And I was so accustomed to it. Like when I started doing these reviews, I was like, oh, we're only getting one issue. Well, it is close to the holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Cool, man. So yeah. I'll be good. I think that's I think that's uh, issue 162. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely issue 162. Like I said, leave your comments down below. 
go check out uh, Chris's game channel, Two Punch, me and Herman, and what else, one? Uh, and don't forget, we will be having a Negan uh, backstory video coming up very soon. We were also we're also working on our um, special favorite episode videos. Oh, we're yeah. gonna have one ep one episode each for us, like one video each for us of, of whatever episode that we we enjoyed. So um, the most. So we're gonna get. So those are coming. And um, yeah, I lots think of, that's lots all of... we'll reveal at this time on what's to come. Wait, what? Uh, that's what we'll reveal at this time on what's to come. We got more on the back burner, though. Trust us. Yeah, yeah. So we got a lot of things going on. Uh, so, you know, sorry that the videos aren't coming out as quickly as they were, but this is off season and we're trying to come up with different content while we're waiting for other things to come out. Full days getting away. Yeah. What can you say? Yeah. So, um, yeah. But the holidays are over, the New Year's here, and we want to thank you guys very much for all the support. We're growing really quickly, and we just couldn't be happier with with our community and, and all you guys. You guys are awesome. Our Q and A was awesome. Go check that out. It was so much fun. Um, and we'll continue to answer your questions. And uh, yeah, just thank you for enjoying what we do and, and hanging out with us because it, it, it's really it's really fun. It's really fun to start a community like this, and, and I think we're all really happy about it. So yep. um, yeah, definitely, absolutely. All right, so we're done. We're good. We're good. All right. This has been Jesse and Chris for a third-person comic review. Have a good one, guys. See you next time. Peace.